Hi there, boys and girls. Uh, today is a real treat for me. This is one of my very favorite stories titled The Three Little Tamales. It is a take on the three little pigs and the big bad wolf. This version was written by Mr. Eric A. Kimmel and illustrated by Valeria Docampo. Enjoy! Once upon a time in Texas, there lived a couple known to all as Tio Jose and Tia Lupe. Tio Jose and Tia Lupe owned a taqueteria, a little restaurant. Everyone said that Tia Lupe made the best tortillas and tamales in all of Texas. Every morning, she wrapped up tamales in corn husk and steamed them in a pot. When they were done, she put them by the window to cool. One day, three little tamales saw a tortilla rolling by. Where are you going? They asked the tortilla. I'm running away, the tortilla told them. If I stay here, someone is going to eat me. You'll be eaten too. You better run. We don't want to be eaten, the three little tamales said. They decided to run away together. They jumped out the window and ran down the road before anyone knew they were gone. The first little tamal ran until she came to the prairie. She breathed in the smell of sagebrush. I want to live here, the first little tamal said. She built herself a little house, a casita, out of sagebrush and moved in. She went to sleep that night, surrounded by the sweet smell of sage. The second little tamal ran until he came to a cornfield. He listened to the rustling corn stalks. That sounds like music. I want to live here, the second little tamal said. He built his casita out of corn stalks and moved in. He went to sleep that night listening to the music of the corn stalks. Third little tamal ran until she came to the desert. She saw a cactus bristling with thorns. Cactus will make a strong house. The thorns will protect me, the third little tamal said. She built her casita out of tough, prickly cactus and moved in. She slept soundly that night, protected by cactus. The three little tamales lived happily for some time. Then one day, who should come trotting by but El Señor Lobo, the big bad wolf? The first little tamal saw him coming and she ran inside her sagebrush house and shut the door. Señor Lobo walked up to the house. He looked in the window and said, Señorita Tamal, por favor, I want to come in, so open the door. The first little Tamal replied, Señor Lobo, muy lindo, I'm sorry to say that I won't let you in, so please go away. Señor Lobo answered, I'll huff and I'll puff like a Texas tornado and blow your casita from here to Laredo. He huffed and puffed until he blew the sagebrush casita to pieces. But the first little tamal got out just in time. She ran to her brother's house, the one made of corn stalks. The second little tamal saw her coming. He opened the door and let her in just as El Señor Lobo arrived. Señor Lobo walked up to the cornstalk house. He looked in the window and said, Señor tamal, por favor, I want to come in, so open the door. The second little tamal replied, uh, Señor Lobo, muy guapo, I'm sorry to say I won't let you in, so please go away. Señor Lobo answered, I'll huff and I'll puff like a Texas tornado and blow your casita from here to Laredo. He huffed and puffed until he blew the cornstalk casita to pieces. But the two little tamales escaped just in time. They ran to their sister's house in the desert, the one made of cactus. The third little tamal saw them coming. She opened the door and she let them in just as El Señor Lobo arrived. Señor Lobo walked up to the cactus house. He looked in through the window and he knocked on the door. Oh! He yelled as the cactus thorn stuck him and then he said, Señorita tamal, por favor, I want to come in, so open the door. 
The third little tamal replied, <laughs> Señor Lobo, muy tonto, and I'm sorry to say that I won't let you in, so please go away. Señor Lobo answered, I'll huff and I'll puff like a Texas tornado and blow your casita from here to Laredo. Go ahead and try. I do not think you can, the third little tamal told him, and that made Señor Lobo angry. He huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed until he was out of breath. But the little casita never budged because its cactus was tough, its roots were strong, and its long, sharp thorns were woven tightly together. I know what I'll do, Señor Lobo said. If I can't blow this house to pieces, I'll climb down the chimney. The three little tamales will never know I'm coming. But when El Señor Lobo climbed on top of the house, the cactus thorns pricked his paws. Ay, 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 ay! He yelped as he tiptoed across the roof. Oh, Señor Lobo is on the roof. He's coming down the chimney. What will we do? We better run, said the first little tamale. Oh, we better hide, said the second little tamal. No, we won't said the third little tamal. I am not afraid of El Señor Lobo. I know a better way to deal with him than running away and hiding. She told the others of her plan and they agreed to help. Three little tamales filled a pot with water and set it on the fire to boil. They heard Señor Lobo coming down the chimney. Ay, 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 ay! He yelled. Splash! He fell into the pot of water. Clang! The three little tamales covered the pot with an iron lid. Let me out! Señor Lobo howled. No, we can't! The three little tamales replied. We are cooking wolf tamales for dinner. I don't want to be a tamal, Señor Lobo yelled. He jumped out of the pot, climbed back up the chimney, and ran across the roof. He didn't let the cactus thorn slow him down. He ran until he was out of sight, and he never came back. Señor Lobo was gone for good. The three little tamales never had to worry about him again. So they had a fiesta and invited all their friends to celebrate. And who were the friends who came to the fiesta of the three little tamales? Why, the runaway tortillas, of course! Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed one of my favorite stories in our library. The three little tamales. Until next time, bye! <laughs>